Okay, so let's disprove why you shouldn't buy a 10 gig network. So basically uh, I have a Z drive here that I'm using in the test. It's a spindle drive, it's a Western Digital Red and I'm copying it to a SSD which is a very fast uh, SSD drive on my C drive and it's gonna uh, go ahead and get about 120 megabytes a second. And you're probably wondering, well, that's really slow, right? Why is it only doing 120 megabytes a second when people are getting 10 gigs over a network? Your computer's just slow, it's horrible. Well, no, that's not the case, guys. What it is, is this is probably pretty average for 90% of people out there, right? The people who are doing these tests using a 10 gig network and they're copying these files are doing pretty geeky things in the sense to get those 10 gig speeds, right? They're either copying files from one system to another system that both have a 10 gig network, but they also probably have about $1,000 invested in disk drives, right? Um, and that's the thing they're not telling you. They have SSDs in their main systems and they have SSDs in the other system that they're copying the files to. So this 120 is pretty standard. So after I get done here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same file that I copied from the Z drive to the C drive and I'm going to delete it on my Z drive and then I'm going to come back on my C drive and copy it from my SSD over to that spindle disk to that Western Digital Red. And as you'll see, it'll speed up when you first go ahead and paste this file in here. And that's because the Western Digital Drive, at first it tries to read all this data and then it realizes, hey, I can't read that as fast as you're sending the data from that SSD. So the problem that's happening is the SSD can write faster than that spindle drive can read. And these drives are not slow by any means, right? These are six gigabyte uh, basically drives, but you're still limited by how fast the disks can read or write. So just because you're, you have something stamped on a device that says 10 gigs, as you know, like a network device, as an example that everybody's looking to upgrade to, doesn't mean you're gonna get those 10 gig speeds. You need to invest your money in your PC first. And that's what I'm trying to get across here, is if you are gonna spend money on a 10 gig network, you have to, have to, have to invest the money on spending money on your hard drives for every single PC that you're gonna be copying files from, whether that be only your main PC that you're using and a network attached device on your network, or every single PC that's on your network. You have to have extremely fast drives. So at bare minimum, you're gonna need an SSD on your main computer and SSD on another computer that you're copying to. And still do not expect 10 gigabit speeds. You're just not gonna get it. You may get four or 500, and I'd say that's good. It's not a slouch, right? That's five times the speed we're getting here. And um, that's definitely not bad, but you have to realize you have to make the investment in your PCs first. And after you've invested that money in your PCs, then you're gonna have to invest the money in your network. So all total together, if you buy used equipment on your networking side, and let's say you bought SSDs, which you know they have come down, but you're still probably gonna spend a couple hundred dollars in SSDs at bare minimum, and especially if you're copying it to a, like a NAS drive, you're gonna spend upwards of $1,000 for a network setup and the hard drives. And uh, you could do a cheaper solution if you're geek savvy, and let's say you will have a network attached device or another computer, and you know how to set up a RAID array. You could save some money there, but again, you still need two drives bare minimum to do that. And, um, I, you know, ideally most guys are running with three drives. So the price on your drives is what costs all the money, people. The 10 gig network is a fast solution. It is very, very fast, but it's only as fast as your drives that you're using to copy the data. So that's the information I wanted to get across to you guys. And uh, I just wanted to disprove that 10 gig for regular people is just not worth the money. And uh, I just don't want you guys to go out there and buy all these devices, hook them up to your computer, go to copy files, have these huge expectations of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this uh, 10 gigabit network speeds and then realize what, what the heck's going on. I'm only getting 125 to let's say 200 depending how well your drives perform. You know, you're going to be very, very disappointed. And I just don't want you guys to have that problem. Don't want you wasting all your time, all your money, right? That's really important. And um, yeah, so that's basically what I'm trying to get across here. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks.